Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, family. All right. <sighs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So today is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so this is like really killing me right now. All right. So yeah, I try to switch up my hair all the time. I have my little hair wash Sundays or whatever. All right. There you go. All right. So you guys, today's a little bit different. So we're going to do a top 10 list. All right. So that top 10 list is going to be my top 10 bags. I always reach for or I reach for the most in my collection, all right? And you guys have seen a lot of these bags. Um, you know, there's some classic bags in there, you know, some that everybody knows. Um, I have them in my collection and I always tend to reach for them. So, you know, they all serve a different purpose. I love them all, um, but you know, it's a mixture of, you know, tote bags and crossbody bags, of course. You know, I have some clutches and everything like that, but you know, I'm not out and about that often. Um, so I don't have anything, I don't have anything like that, you know, in this top 10. So it's really just totes and crossbody bags. Um, I don't even think I put a book bag, um, like a backpack on there or anything like that. Because again, these are really just the things that I've noticed that I always tend to reach for that gravitate to. Um, and that's just what it is. All right. So I'm not going to talk too long, you guys. I'm really just going to ask, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, subscribe just be a part of the will all right and you will not regret it because you'll have a great time we'll laugh we'll cry we'll sing we'll dance we're not gonna do any of that but um either which way <laughs> we are still gonna have a good time we're gonna laugh we're gonna you know talk to each other go back and forth you know what you guys have what um i have you know what i am looking to get you know tell me if you guys have any of these things in your collection i know a lot of you do um but you know are any of these your top 10? Are any of these your top five? Do you have these in your collection and you literally see yourself always gravitating to this particular bag? Let me know, all right? So go ahead and subscribe, you guys. Like, comment, and share because sharing is caring. And if you share, that person might like it. They might want to subscribe. And we could all just become one big happy family. All right, here we go. All right, so number one, and it's not in order, you guys. So even though I'm saying number one, it's, it's not in order. It's just what I had near me because I really didn't put it up. And I still have a few things in it um, from when I switched out of my bags or whatever like that. So, yeah. Um, but the bag that I always kind of gravitate to, you guys, you've seen this in one of my videos when it comes to my bag of the week, is my Chanel Duville um super tote is what I call it because this bag is everything I put an organizer in here I stuff everything in here it literally has two ways to carry it just like the on-the-go Louis Vuitton you have the top handle you can carry and I normally try to put something around the handle itself but I never do I don't know why um, my husband gets on me but you have it to where if you didn't want to carry it top handle quicker your arm you can always just use the chain strap that it has and a lot of times that's how I carry it so it's really convenient. I mean, I love this bag, you guys. I literally get compliments on it all the time because, I mean, it's not even just the fact that it's a tote bag. It's just so cute, so adorable. Um, I love the gray and the black contrast. And then again, most of the time what I'll do is I'll just kind of, you know, pull in the straps if I'm not going to use it. Um, you know for a shoulder bag and then you have this cute little chain detail that's like that and then I just hold it as a tote bag um, or I just hold it as a um, top handle bag or whatever so and I'll just do it like that if it's not too heavy but it's just so cute and chic and I'm just I love it all right so yes I grab for this all the time and I never really realized how much I was going to use this bag but as soon as I got it I used it to death and then I put it down so nothing happens to it or anything like that um, because I think I was mad I didn't really look at it all the way when I got it because I can't find it now but I think it's either like I know this little string is coming out right here um, and I literally had to drive like two hours just to get this bag from a Chanel boutique um, but I mean, I didn't mind. I did want like the 
lighter color one. I think it was like the blue one or like the the pink. Either the blue, the pink, or like that kind of like cream color. But I knew just with the cream color, it was going to get demolished. So I like the fact that I got like this black and it has like the grayish unlettering and stuff like that. So I was happy with it. But yes, I wear this. I grab it all the time and it's convenient because I just put it up in a box right up here and then I just you know bring it down grab for it go when I really need a really big bag because I put everything in here I'm talking about work stuff laptops like chargers kids clothes like this bag is durable you guys so I really do love it if you ever have a chance to get a Chanel Duvel get it you know because you won't regret it you really won't um, and you already know how Chanel is the prices are always increasing so if you're able to get it um, third party, get it pre loved, whatever, but yeah, don't pay retail because I did. But it is what it is. What you gonna do? All right. The next bag that I always grab you guys and gravitate to is gonna be my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Bandulia. All right. So. I mean, I originally was going to go for a 25, um, but I figure, you know what, the 25 is just a little bit small, and then with the 30, um, it, I mean, it's a good size, but I think it just is going to hold a lot more. I mean, I always heard also that the 25 with the opening is not as big as the 30, and I didn't really want to, like, deal with that, so I don't know, I have a quarter and a ball in here, because... I don't have babies or anything like that, but my kids, I, I keep them as kids and, you know, we play around and everything like that. I think we got this from, you know, I don't know where we even got this from. I think it was like in a meal or something like that. You just blow it up. But either which way, you guys, bottom line is this bag is everything. I do put an organizer in here because I like to preserve the lining of my bags. Um, anything spills, pen marks, whatever. I want to make sure that it's going to hit the organizer before it actually hits my bag because never say never. I might one day want to sell my bags um, just for financial gain or just because I'm not grabbing it anymore. And you know, I do believe in that. If it's like clothes, shoes, whatever. If you are not grabbing that item, you know like you used to and it's been more than six months or even a year you need to give it up you know either sell it um or go to goodwill give it away you know so it can always help and benefit somebody else but for the most part like i said this is one of my other bags that i always gravitate to in the top 10 and i love this bag i'm glad i got it i know just like the never fold you see it everywhere but when you get the bandolier it, it is very convenient i know literally literally you guys they are charging you like an extra three four hundred dollars just for the strap as much as that irritates me it is still convenient so if you are able to get the bandolier and you get it pre-loved go ahead and get it pre-loved but get the bandolier because it is very convenient because there are times where you know what I don't feel like holding it you know whether it be top handle or the crook of my arm you know as real sophisticated and cute you know, I just, I just don't want to do it, you know, so I actually take it, I take the strap, put it on, it's always on actually, um, and then I just use it as a crossbody, and it's very convenient, and I like it because a lot of times with the crossbody, I will actually take it and wrap it all the way around me like that, and then I'm just on the go, and I'm okay with that because for the most part, you know, I haven't had any issues with anything falling out. Um, if it were to kind of get all jumbled or anything like that, this has a zipper closure, so it's secure, you know, so I don't have anything to worry about, but either which way, that is my second bag out of my top 10 bags that I gravitate to the most. So the next bag that I normally gravitate to out of the top 10 um, is going to be this Coach Cassie. literally there's like nothing to say about the coach Cassie you guys everybody knows about her everybody almost everybody has her if you don't have her you are waiting for the best sale ever which Christmas is coming so this is like the time to take advantage and um, coach has great sales that's one thing I will say when it comes to luxury shopping and everything like that um, they have great sales them toy Burge, Kate Spade um, that's why I like to shop at those um, luxury brands because I always know that you know 
I'm gonna get something and I'm gonna get my money's worth. So, um, like I said, luxury, it's in the eye of the beholder. Um, but in which way, you don't have to spend 1500, 2000, 20,000, you know, on a bag. You can literally get this beautiful pebbled leather um, luxury bag right here and you'll be good to go. And I grab it all the time, all right? So the Coach Cassie is one of my favorites ever since I got it and I constantly use it. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of like, you know, a switcheroo or off and on, you know, sometimes she's in my top five or 10, sometimes she's not, but I do always get her and because, you know, she's just convenient. With that being said, Yes, I had her right here. It's going to be the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Um, I did get her first before I got my um, Coach Cassie. And these two kind of go hand in hand. I think if I'm just looking to, you know, give that pop of color and not have to worry about, you know, trying to baby a bag and durability, I'm going for the Coach Cassie because, I mean, I love this bag. I try not to use any kind of pens around this bag because it will mark it up. And I'll just get upset about that. But this bag is convenient it's very durable it's very strong i love it dearly and i love the way it opens um that's the one thing i will say if i had my choice and i had to pick i'm gonna pick the coach cassie because i love the way it opens up rather than the um louis vuitton uh, pochette matisse but with the pochette matisse um like i said it's a classic i'm glad i got it um i've not had any and hopefully cross my fingers don't have any issues with the glazing or anything like that um the bag is convenient it holds so much and that's why it's in the top 10 of the bags I always gravitate to the most because I do. Um, for the most part, a lot of times, everything that's here in this display, I always actually grab for it um, because it's just my bags that I just go to. It's my go-to bags. I know what it holds. I know how it's going to sit on my shoulder and stuff like that. So, yeah. It is what it is, you guys. I mean, I think for the most part, I've been doing this, you know, a good minute. So you guys kind of like, I think you know my style. Um, to the point where I actually did the um, top five crossbody bags in my collection. And I did not put the Coach Cassie on here. And you guys literally called me out on it. And I thought it was like so funny because it's true. Like I literally grabbed her all the time and I didn't put her on there. And I think the reason why I picked this bag over this one was because... I've had this bag longer than I've had the Coach Cassie. So it's one of those things where it's like it was second nature. And that's why it was always like I'm grabbing to it. But this is a top 10. So both of them are going on there. All right, you guys. The next bag that I tend to gravitate to, believe it or not, you probably haven't seen it. It's going to be my Tory Burch Safiano New York tote bag. Um... You guys, I literally wore this bag to death. I was trying to see if I can actually go to Tory Burch and see if they can kind of like clean this up a little bit. I mean, this was, or this is actually the best work bag ever. Like it has a triple compartment because you have this middle compartment right here, which is for, um, you know, just anything. It fits a small little laptop. You have the flat pockets. You have the zipper compartment, like flat pocket again. This bag literally is so great. It's beautiful. It's heavy duty. The best thing about this bag, you guys, is the fact that the straps, literally, you guys, literally, the straps are actually um, adjustable. So I think it just depends on your ratio of like shoulder, underarm, whatever. You know, you like it to hang a little bit lower, adjust it. You want it to be up a little bit more, adjust it. So I think that's what made me buy this bag even more because I just love that. Um, and I have it towards the very end. So I love this bag a lot and I've used it so much, you guys. So it's come in handy. I don't know if they even have this bag anymore, but it's Toy Birch. So they have something I'm sure similar to it because this bag is a classic. Um, I think everybody loves the totes that she makes. Um, and totes are just durable. I mean, when it comes to totes, I don't think you can ever really go wrong. It's all right. My next bag is gonna be this bag itself. I really don't know what else to say about it. Um, it is a crossbody bag. It literally is a clutch. Um, it's a shoulder bag. You know, I'm looking at it and it reminds me of like those pillowy bags, pillowy, those pillowy bags that everybody is actually wearing and rocking. Um, 
and that's just what it reminds me of but I love this bag I think it's really durable um, I love the material itself anything gets on it I literally just wipe it off with a water-based wipe I love the fact that it has so many pockets um, and they're deep pockets as well so you know with the phones I used to have or whatever because this bag is old I would put either my phone in there wallet in there um, I could put my phone back here and then of course when you go into the bag itself it has compartments in here right there so the bag is so versatile the strap itself again shoulder bag crossbody bag so this is my Henry Bendo jet setter convertible crossbody bag it's seen its good days and its bad days but honestly tell you the truth the way it looks it doesn't look like it had a bad day ever so I think that's why I love this bag the most and I gravitate to it because it's durable I really like it and I'm so so sad that Henry Bendel is no longer but that's okay because I have pieces um, from there I'm glad I do I think the only regret honestly is just never kind of like initialing my bags I wish I had um, but I'm sure I can go somewhere and get it hot stamped or whatever but either which way that is my six bag I don't know anyway I'll write it all down or whatever like that but yes this is one of my top 10 bags that I gravitate to the most because it's so convenient and it's cute all right you guys my next bag is going to be my Louis Vuitton Crescent in Damir Azor print I know the light is literally shining so bright on this baby but it's cute um, same class opening sometimes I have issues sometimes I don't um, you do have a detachable strap not adjustable um, and even though that irritates me I still actually grab for this bag because it really is convenient um, this is one of the bags I would really consider to be um, like a mini crossbody bag to me I mean it's not like mini mini but you know it doesn't hold as much as I would like it to but because it is so convenient that's why I grab um, for it most of the time um, and everything will just be kind of like card holder um, key clay key ring battery pack stuff like that you know one or two snacks in there and it works it fits like I said I took this with me when I went to go visit my sister um, and I this is like the only bag that I took I, mean, I don't even think I took a book bag or whatever I, I just took this bag and that was it and it worked no issues no problems I didn't get anything on it it was snowing and you know when it comes to Philly snow turns to dirt after a few days nothing got on it so I was happy about that but yeah that is my other bag which is going to be bag seven <laughs> out of the top 10 all right all right so again nothing is in order there's no like you know ultimate favorites or anything like that I honestly love all the bags all right you guys the next bag is the Kate Spade Margot crossbody bag and yes although I recently just got this particular bag I think it's so convenient because for this bag itself you do have a few compartments here of course compartment one you have the um, open compartment here well it's not open it's um zipper compartment right here but you have it to where it gives you enough space it gives you enough storage you have a button compartment right here you do have slots for like card holders if you want and i think that's why i actually kind of like when i'm just on the go and i want to just pick a bag it's on the display behind me so i really just grab for this and i just go because my phone fits in here card holders of course you know fit in there and if I really just didn't want to take the card holder I'm really just taking out um, my driver's license um, my military ID and my um, debit card and then I'll throw some cash actually inside either the bag itself or I'll just put it in here really conveniently and I'm just on the go if I wanted to go out like date night or something like that just kind of put these little D rings down and you know it's a clutch you know so I like the versatility of this one as well so I really do adore bags that kind of like you know it's not just a crossbody bag or it's not just a shoulder bag you literally can use it for anything I love the lilac I also have it in the yellow so it's kind of like you know a top 10 also bonus because I have two different colors and I can switch out if I wanted to but I do like this Marco bag and like I said even though I just got it I do see myself kind of like reaching for it more and more um, and that's why I put it in the list all right all right you guys so as you saw 
my top five crossbody bags this little cutie was actually on the list and it's gonna stay on that list because it's adorable I got it from my mom um, I do believe it is a vintage bag and it's just sentimental to me so it literally is I don't think I've ever worn it as a shoulder bag because my shoulders are just big you guys I, I just have broad shoulders it's just not gonna work um, so I do either a top handle quick on my arm or it's gonna be shoulder bag or crossbody bag and that is because it actually comes with a strap and the strap is adjustable of course and detachable so it really just depends on the event that I'm going to I will use this bag because it's cute it's convenient um, it's real stylish so I do like it and it's the Elliot Luca bucket bag um, and again I got this from my mom I don't know exactly how much she paid and I honestly don't know exactly where she got it from so I really just estimate it what she might have paid because I did look it up when I was when I was doing my um, crossbody bag um, when I was doing my top five crossbody bags that I use so this right here is right around like a hundred plus dollars and I think you can still get it if I'm not mistaken from Nordstrom's rack but um, if you can't try to look up Elliot Luca um, E L L I U T Luca L U C A um, and see if it's still available or whatever but this bag is so cute I love it you know she has her own little style she always kind of like still stays and gravitates to like the Dooney and Burks and stuff like that um, but she has a little few things here and there that I kind of like look at and I'm like you don't need this you don't need this and then I kind of like trade her for something but yeah so far she has given me um, two vintage coaches and this um, Elliot Luca bag so I adore it I love it and it's always gonna be in my collection and if anything I will just pass it down to my kids all right so there you have that all right so last but certainly not least you guys it's going to be this Louis Vuitton Boet Chapeau Sopla and I think I pronounced it right I think I pronounced it right <laughs> if I didn't you guys just correct me it is what it is um, but this bag was part of the Louis Vuitton giant monogram collection this is also in the um, reverse slash monogram print so I do love it I think it is now officially sold out um, I'm sure you could probably get it It really just depends because everyone's the blue moon you know they have some bags that kind of like come to the store you just have to be on it um, and if you're on it and you get it congratulations a lot of people actually prefer um, the hard hat box version of this and I don't like that because I think what I've seen when I did my research on the bag itself it doesn't open up all the way and I do not like that you guys literally everything when it comes to my family my DNA whatever like that I have broad shoulders I have big feet I have big hands I get it from my dad or whatever you know veins pop out in my hands it's just that's just what it is so when it comes to bags when it comes to shoes shoes sneakers heels whatever it is I always have to get wide um, it is what it is I wear like a size 10 I am not afraid to let you know I wear a size 10 I have unfortunately passed that down to my kids so it is what it is no one has small feet um, but we're fine I digress either which way I don't like for my I I have this pet peeve where it's like I don't like when I'm reaching into a bag and my hand is kind of getting stuck or it's getting scratched by the zipper that irritates me and that actually sometimes is a determination of if I'm getting the bag or not so either which way because you have it to where it's kind of like this soft um, flexible type material still canvas or whatever and that's of course why they call it the soap flow because you have it to where it's a supple leather aka canvas material or whatever but you can easily get your hand in and out like right now I don't have any issues getting in getting out um, but yeah this bag is cute I don't like the hat hard version of this bag um, I do love this particular bag I love the um, luggage tag on it I love the giant monogram on it I love the reverse monogram everything about it I just adore you have this flat pocket in the back but I'm not putting anything back there you guys nothing's really gonna fit back there and I'm okay with that and that's fine you could probably take these um, straps out I have not I choose not to um, I do have it on the very last 
um, hold because again you guys I do like for my bags to sit a certain way so yeah sometimes I'll put it up in the front that way I know it's like right there no issues no problems other times I'll just kind of like put it in the back it looks really cute it looks really fashionable um, and then I'm on my way but I do tend to reach for this a lot because I like um, just what it holds I like the fact that you know it has this cute little luggage tag on it and I love the circular bags I just do so you know yeah that's it I really do reach for this because I like everything about this bag and I'm glad I got it from this particular collection so yeah all right you guys that is it that is and that was my top 10 handbags that I reach for the most in my collection all right so you guys let me know do you have favorites do you reach for something more than the other do you have any of the bags that I um, talked about in this collection um, were you surprised by anything that I picked did you expect something else <laughs> on that list let me know all right so let's get the conversation started tell me what you think subscribe if you are new here to my channel you guys and if you want to keep getting notified subscribe hit the button hit the bell it'll let you know every single time I upload all right that's it I think I need to go grocery shopping because I really truly need food for Thanksgiving I will talk to you guys later all right bye